Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Wingens and in this video I want to go over how to create this really cool color isolation effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, as you can see right here, the only color in this video is Jimmy Garoppolo's jersey and everything else in the video is completely black and white. So that's what the color isolation effect is. It's only isolating one color and everything else is black and white. Now I'm going to go ahead and head over to this clip right here. This is just an example. It's not going to be perfect, but I'll kind of go over the basics of how to create it. Then I'll head back over to the original clip right here and go over a couple things that I did to make it look a little bit better. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the color tab right here. You want to add a new color board. So I just created a new color board. Now the second step you want to do is you want to head over here and add a color mask. So go right here under masks and add a color mask. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now what you want to do is you want to select the color you want to mask out. So see this little eyedropper tool. So what you want to do is you want to just hold down right here and you want to just open the you want to just hold down your your mouse right here and there you go we have selected the red then we ask then maybe ask yourself well i saw other reds being selected too but don't worry you're going to have a shape mask to get rid of that now what you're going to want to do is you want to head over here to the outside button right here go to the outside make sure on outside not inside so outside go to saturation and turn the saturation all the way down. So you want, so that's what you want to do. You want to make sure the saturation is down. Now you see what is selected. Don't worry about this. Um, don't worry about this red right here because you're going to have a shape mask um, right there. Now what you can also do is a couple other options you can do is you can hold down Shift. So you can hold down Shift to add even more red. So let's go ahead, and maybe I don't know, go over here. Let's hold down Shift. And let's oh, let's basically add more red to it or what you could do is you could hold down option so let's hold down option and get rid of some red right there so as you can see right there that's how you do it so you want you can hold down shift to add more color so sh hold down shift and hold down the mask or you could hold down option so like this you could hold down option to remove some of the red or you could hold down shift to add some more um, red or blue whatever color you have so shift to add more option to get rid of some color um, but I don't encourage you to use option a lot because it'll be very hard to just get rid of a little bit of color without messing up the entire um, video so the next thing you want to do is you want to add a shape mask so you want to go back to color board go to masks and then you want to add a shape mask so we have added a shape mask right here so here's a shape mask right here so what you want to do is you want to head over here to the mask as you can see right here you want to open up the mask and as you can see right there as you can see that is the only color being shown and that's how you create your money this is feathering you could turn the feathering down a little bit just to help make it a little bit better now the only problem is you may ask yourself well what if the person is moving as you can see right here he's moving so there's gonna be is gonna be a part as you can see right here black and white here black and white here what you're gonna do here I know I'm not gonna do on this video I'm gonna go over to this example and show you how to do but all you want to do is head over here so let's go ahead head to keyframe right here and basically you're gonna go frame by frame okay so a little black and white here um, again this is just a rough example let's go frame by frame keep going frame by frame there's a little black and white here so we can move it here move it out here a little bit so basically all you're doing is you're just key framing the shape mask right here just going frame by frame again this is a rough cut so you just go for it's a pretty decent one so move it over here so that's basically all you're doing right there is you're just moving the um, shape mask right here and that's basically how you create the effect again that's a rough cut and you can go ahead and kind of uh, make it make it a little bit better so as you can see right here here is the color board right here so as you can see right here let's go ahead head to outside right here and go to this um, mask right here let's go to the color mask right here as you can see right here we turn down the saturation as you can see right here I selected the red and the color mask and turned down the saturation now as you can see right here here are all the masks. There's a mask here, 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 and like three more here. So I think I have about 11 to 12 shape masks. So let's go to the inspector window right here. As you can see right here, here are all the shape masks that I have. 
So I went into a lot more detail into this video right here, but yes, 12 shape masks as you can see right here, all of the shape masks are keyframed. So you can see right here, you wanna to go to the beginning right here. And like I said before, you want to keyframe all of the masks right here. So some of them are yellow, some of them are moving, some of them are here, are all the masks. Now, what you wanna do here is as you can see right here, let's go frame by frame and just watch all the mass. I know there's a lot of mass, but just watch all the mass right here. As you can see right here, I'll go back to the beginning right here. As you can see right here, I'll go ahead, might be a little bit laggy, but let's go ahead to the beginning right here. As you can see, all these masks are moving. So you see all these masks are moving. It's not a perfect selection, but as you can see right there, all of these masks are moving. So it took about three to four hours to create this effect, but this is basically a more extreme example. You can go ahead and just keyframe all of the masks right here. Now you may ask yourself, why does this one say subtract? Well, I'll go ahead and click on. So let's see, let's find the mask right here. Or actually, I'll go to the beginning. So the, this is the first shape mask. So if I went here, actually, I'll, just go, back, I'll go back here to the original one right here because it, it wouldn't make any sense. Let's go here to subtract. So actually, I'll go actually, instead of going over this to give you a better example, let's add a new one. So it'll be, like, be like a 13th shape mask. But let's go scroll all the way down. And okay, as you can see right here, here is the shape mask right here. And here is the shape mask right here. But as you can see right here, you may add a shape mask and say, wait, this red. Um, the whole point of the shape mask is to get rid of the red. So what you're gonna do is you wanna head over to add and subtract. And that's how you create, and that's how you get rid of it. So as you can see right here, let's try my best to get rid of this right here. So basically what you're, so basically what you're doing um, as you can see every single mask has a subtract so you can basically just subtract the color so it'll look a lot better right here and that's basically how you create this really cool color isolation effect so remember if you want to get rid of some color you want to make sure it is on subtract see subtract 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 all these are on subtract because I want to get rid of the um, red color now one thing that I could have done to make it a little bit better is maybe copy this and put underneath this clip a black and white and maybe you could put a little bit of draw mask just in case it's a little bit of red but for the most part just add a shape mask um, right here so basically what you're just gonna do here is head over to color board um, you want to add a color mask select the color turn down the saturation on the outside and then add a whole bunch of shape mask keyframe it to make sure it's fitting in this red part right here it's getting rid of any no any red part that's not supposed to be in the video um, right there and that's pretty much how you create this effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace